with boys and girls back tomorrow so we go and shit's getting whoa complex um okay for first time I'm gonna try to make out of this particular cavern alive okay I did not intend to go there I'm gonna cheat, I'm going to just bust my ass out of there and go in here. Except which one is, is here? Okay, it's this one. Yeah, heal baby. Okay. Discovered a bunch of uh, a bunch of objectives which are uh, linked together. Basically, uh, I would have to I would have to start interacting uh, or even maybe growing uh, with these uh, bigger life forms. So if for now I have uh, mainly mainly influence the little buggers then now I would have to start uh, what? Oh, oh. no 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 leave my ass alone I would have to start uh, start uh, interacting with all this uh, bigger shit So some of these caverns need, uh, well, uh, need uh, a larger scale intervening, and uh, and it can only be done uh, via these uh, big ass uh, life forms or zoa. Whoa! Whoa! Let's investigate. Oh, holy fuck. Oh, yeah, and if these charming buggers, if they, uh, if they throw their balls around, then then the magma will explode. was not so smart to move to come into an unknown place like this. Okay. Get your shit together, Leon. You are a scientist. A badass. Unfortunately, there is no one better to navigate your suit than I am. So yeah, that part sucks. I know. I know. Okay, so I will have to... Are the only thing that penetrate this uh, particular barrier. However, I know that if I whoa water them. Uh oh, sorry. Then, uh, then they will start seeding. up there. Huh. There 
There's no way I can hydrate all this stuff. Okay, better. Huh, I wonder if this dome. Okay, what just happened? I, I, I was wondering if this dome would gather full of floating seeds. Would this do something to the environment? I mean, like, would this uh, influence the architecture or what? So for now, as, as much as I understand, this is all one life form. Oh, and I'm out of water. the Megazoa becoming active? An event has occurred! <laughs> this event is this Levitroph Megazoa availing energy from the Alveopyrus. Scans indicate a Levitroph provided with this energy is capable of expansion with force in Whoa. excess of 5.62 times 10 to the 5th Newtons. Expand? If the Levitroph had expanded with that force, it would have destroyed this chamber of the cave. Attention! This Levitroph availed a portion of the possible energy. Additional energy is currently not being directed to it. So if this Megazoa were fed more Harvester energy, it would push upwards with incredible strength. Hmm. It reminds me of the acidic life form that dissolved the upper reaches of this cave. Why has Left Cavern evolved for self-destruction? Self is not alive, perhaps? It were the life forms that did evolve from the cavern itself, maybe.
Okay, so biomass was one variable here, but I'm still guessing that if there is enough of the helium balls over there, they might interact uh, with the... No, 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 is it? Whoa! They might interact with the uh, environment somehow as well. seed which is technically not seed it's a water spore would uh, wait which way do I get here okay if I dropped it here very very gently so that it would plant itself Fuck. Very, 
Ugh. Okay, and now I have wasted all my supply. Oh, by the way, I have formed a hypothesis of my own. I'm guessing that these life forms are not up to self destruction, they are up to terraforming. So the sort of the destruction sort of or the seeming destruction is actually breaking through to the uh, surface and uh, and perhaps building up an atmosphere even. Okay, but now before I proceed I would have to gather some compost. Wait, did I did I go here? I have to check. Ah, oh, this is the uh, solar system cavern. Yay! I don't think there were any passages leading anywhere over here. another one of these. So this, uh, I wrongly as uh, assume that uh, this is, uh, this is, well, fuck, no, I can't talk, that this pattern is uh, volcanic rock, while clearly it's, uh, it's actually the, well, husk or hull or well stem of this uh, greater life form. Oh, I'm, oh, okay. I came out on the other side and realized that I could do that. Okay. The eggs will pass through, but not, but not the uh... oh, finally. Okay, that, that was my plan all along, of course. If he does it. Of course, now I forgot what I was uh, going to speak about. Oh yeah, basically that I, I took the bark or skin or uh, or uh, the uh, biological structure for a geological one, basically. That's what I meant to say. Okay, the background is pretty groovy. But now I really would like to 
travel there not just yet I want compost and, okay this was the segment cave this was what fuck if I remember Pearl necklace guys here, not just yet. There's acid. But yeah, okay. Let's travel further. Here. Actually, let's travel the old fashioned way. travel through the there. Okay, and now we're Oh okay, and this structure actually looks like the again like the trunk or or well body that uh, uh, huge as uh, life form. Outside. I wonder how far can you go before before your life support runs out. Wait, is this the way I came? Or is this another one? I oh, it's another one. It's like the lower half of the big trunk. Art, how do the cerebrain reproduce? Alert! The cerebrain do not produce protocaps. However, it may be possible to extract a highly meristematic propagule with your field knife. <laughs> Excellent. Please show me where to make the incision, Art. Uh, what's going on? I'm taking a cutting of this byzania. Uh huh. Oh, so you can plant in the broken reservoir. If that works, the reservoir could be repaired. That is my hope. Art, will the cutting survive if stored in my suit's container? Yes! <laughs> I will maintain an appropriate temperature range. Good. When next I visit the broken reservoir, I will attempt to plant this. <laughs> oh, sweet fulfillment. Excitement, I forgot what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, right now I think I should probably gather some spores. And also I have the ever uh, ever ongoing agenda of collecting 
Mystic Sackle first. How did you discover the signal? Uh -huh. When so many scientists on Earth have scrutinized the cave without noticing it. Well, you can't blame them. Even if it were a conventional FHSS encoding, it still would have looked like background noise. The trick was that Octo found it first. I programmed him to search for patterns in his input data. Mm -hmm. Any search he could dream up. I thought if we found life on Mars, it would be nothing like life on Earth. So we needed Octo to look in ways even we weren't thinking of. Boy, was I wrong about that. But it did help Octo find the signal. When I saw he used that scanning subroutine, I knew something was up. So I poured over all the readings coming from that location until I found it. You programmed Octo to search for patterns. But <laughs> you were not on that development team. Oh. Awkward. So yeah, one thing uh, that I noticed uh, Something that I uh, I missed uh, while playing, but uh, I did pick it up uh, when uh, when I watched uh, watched uh, some of the recordings was that uh, when they were discussing Octo and uh, well basically when they were discussing the uh, uh, data gathering then. Uh, Amani was being sort of uh, evasive about it, like uh, uh, like when the uh, when the robot helper started uh, started mentioning something uh, about uh, the subroutine not being there, so she sort of hand waved it off. So my guess is uh, she might have got uh, a bit creative with the programming. So basically, may maybe she has speculated about some some information and uh, and sort of uh, crossed some lines, and uh, and as a as a result, uh, the robot uh, the robots and the computers might be able to do stuff they they might not have been able to do otherwise. Let's see if she will talk about it. Amani, is there something you should tell me about Octo? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I think he left behind those cameras so he could maintain contact with the surface. Or maybe as a trail for us to follow, since he left them at interesting locations we'd probably visit. How is it that you programmed Octo when you were not on the Octo development team? Oh, yikes. You're not gonna let that go, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Look, the project director sanctioned it, but yeah, it was a secret. <laughs> he liked my ideas and wanted me to help with the programming. Told you. Liang, I'm really worried that Octo is lost because of me. His behavior seems erratic. Adapting. I really hope you find him. If his data is valuable enough, then maybe it will have been worth it. I, I knew she was up to something with the robots. Let's see. Will you talk some more? So, do you miss home? Oh, okay. I feel a connection, but 
Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll be really job. glad to see my. Yes, it would be good to bring. Okay, 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 I have, I have also heard to have that. dinner with my brother-in-law's family, who I have not visited with in some time. Okay. So let me check the map here. Reservoir. Camera. I think I'm going to pass through uh, pretty much every place I've been to so far in case I have missed some, uh, some passages or exits or something. And then I'm going to try... Access that uh, magma chamber. Uh, the magma chamber that was underneath that uh, big ass life form. Ow. Okay, these uh, floating seats are seriously groovy. seeds interacts with it because uh, they, they certainly were uh, were giving some intel that uh, that some of the uh, acidic stuff can be uh, vulnerable to these seeds which are very very much alkaline as they say I don't know, like, I, I guess these bacteria aren't uh, affected. Or, well, the, the slime isn't affected because maybe the, uh, the bacteria themselves are, uh, are uh, deeper in the rock, and so even if the alkaline seed bursts on the uh, on the dripping slime. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Guys, I would like you to become composed. Whoa! What happened here? The uh, the bursting seeds or what? This is odd. Maybe let me plant another one and observe. Or are are the head crabs eating them or something? Oh yeah, I think if this one bursts, then it might damage the the growing patch. Okay. Okay, so that's the true compost sweet sponge. When I can get to it, that is. No, 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 no. This 
so not cool, man. So not cool. Huh. I... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Floating seeds can be marginally hazardous. Gimme, gimme, gimme. No, 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 no. That is so not cool. Why did it. Why did it break? So this is another ca cavern where the uh, where the head crabs won't uh, won't multiply. They lay eggs, but they don't uh, actually hatch. get eaten on the way. That, uh, that I can't actually gather it. Well, I 
let's see. Broken egg. like uh, an oasis cover in the midst of all the more difficult ones. Do they hatch? Oh. Yep. That was a goal. That 
was bound to happen sooner or later. Thank you. Proceed. side and I, th I believe that's where the magma cave oh fuck no 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 oh so not cool let's see can I can I get healed in here please pretty please if I stand right here nope close enough so I will have to float back up. Pause, I think. So, bye bye for now, and see you soon.